I'm Nathan, and I'll talk to you about media consumption. There are two categories of traits, demographics and psychographics. Demographics are your external properties, like your age and gender. These are purely statistical traits of you that, have no, that you have no choice in. Demographics are easy to gather and therefore allow advertising agencies to profile a population quicker. Psychographics, by contrast, are the traits about you that differentiate you from normal. For example, things you eat and what you do for fun. Psychographics are more difficult to create than demographics as they depend on individual traits which take more time to collect from each person. There are two different kinds of media consumption behaviours, passive and active. Using these, we can explain somebody's media consumption. Passive media users take in whatever message is shown to them without questioning it. For example, this video is sponsored by Protect Light Commons, the most amazing mobile video game to ever grace humanity. Download today. And if a passive user was shown enough of those ads, they might believe it and download the game. <gasps> active media users, by contrast, are actively considering the intentions and sentiment of their media and only believe what they think is truthful or matching to their opinions and beliefs. An active user would see the previous ad and they might find a review on it and figure out that it's complete and utter garbage. There is this marketing tactic called hyp the hypodermic needle theory. This is a marketing tactic that was developed after World War I, where products or ideas are pushed by constantly showing advertising to make the audience eventually assume its truth. HNT depends on the audience being rather passive and believing information without questioning the information's legitimately legitimacy or intent. Personally, I believe that HNT affects my life because you see signs and advertisements in almost any public space. And although I may not go looking for a pencil sharpener when I see a certain brand's ad, if I were looking for a pencil sharpener, I would be more likely to buy the advertised brand. I reckon that HNT is still effective in the current day because big companies like Coca-Cola spend loads of money on putting advertising all over the place. And because of it, everybody I know knows about the beverages brand. By contrast, the use and gratification theory tries to explain how people consume media to fill their individual needs and what happens when their needs are fulfilled. Unlike HNT, this theory individualizes the model of the user so that content delivery is curated to more specifically match people's opinions and personal tastes. UGT proposes that people have five needs that define their media consumption, some of which are cognitive needs, the need to get smarter. For example, you watch a video on how to bake bread. Then you go and apply your new skills to make real bread, and it tastes much better than the pictures of bread on the internet. Personal integrative, integrative needs are needs for self-esteem. People use media to compare themselves to others, to feel either feel special or to find out what things they should do to be trendy and cool. So to find out how these techniques affect things in the real world, I devised a plan to interview and log the usage of two people for one week. The people I plan to run this study on is me and my mum, Julia. Hi, I'm Nathan Reynolds. I'm a 15 year old male high school student that likes computers, cooking, programming, 3D graphics and filmmaking. Devices I use regularly are my phone, my laptop, my desktop and computers and uh, the TV. Hi, I'm Julia Reynolds. I'm a 51 year old woman uh, that works as a cardiovascular nurse specialist at North Shore Hospital. My hobbies are learning Tereo, reading, and uh, my dirty little secret is that I play bubble shoot games. As a hypothesis, I believe that I'll use and create significantly more social media because my mum has different interests to me and she says she uses social media mostly for chatting with friends. That said, my mum watches TV daily, so she'll probably consume more than me in that category. I think that I will be a more active consumer overall compared to my mum because I often analyse things in detail and I make my own YouTube videos. That said, I believe that both of us will be mostly active users. Because of this, I believe that my mum is more susceptible to HNT-based marketing 
because her interests are more similar to her demographic, but due to my specific and unusual interests, HNT wouldn't really work for me and I'd need a more specific UGT based marketing and recommendations to be satisfied. For our usage of platforms, I think I will use much more YouTube than my mum, and my mum will use more Instagram because I don't have it. What is the primary function that social media serves for you? Um, mostly keeping in touch with lives of friends and, and family overseas. Um, we all live really busy lives and um, we don't or we can't see each other very much. Do you post anything on social media? Yep, usually a um, lovely view or animals or an important family event or um, I use it sometimes to arrange parties. Would you consider yourself a passive or active media user? Um, I'm pretty passive when it comes to Instagram. Um, I just like to relax looking at dance videos, animal rescue videos and um, generally sort of non-political stuff. Uh, I'm active when it comes to news media. I understand there's agendas and spin on what we see and consume, um, both here and internationally. And um, having different levels of influence from bureaucracy and leadership of that country as well. I'm not interested in celebrity or royal gossip and actively avoid it. And I know there's always a spin on some level on whatever we consume. What social media platforms do you use and why? Uh, Instagram, I initially joined to keep an eye on what my daughter was doing, but um, also uh, I can still see my friends' photos um, and observe and, and look at stuff without posting. Um, mostly Instagram is my magazine kind of fodder. How long do you spend consuming media a day? Uh, probably about two to three hours a day. Um, I like to watch TV for a couple of hours after dinner and maybe 30 to 60 minutes on my phone. Um, I look at some podcasts, I listen to some podcasts and reading books as well. Has this always been your usage of media? Or has it changed over time? Uh, no, it's changed quite a lot recently. I used to look at Facebook for at least an hour each evening, but um, I watched Social Dilemma with my kids and realised that I was being a sucker. So uh, I reduced my usage to start with and took off all the alerts and now I've taken it off my phone and pretty much closed the account, but I've kept all the chat functions. There are several things we have in common. We both spend time talking with our friends online, we both use Facebook Messenger, and we both watch movies on Netflix, Disney Plus and more. I post my own public videos on YouTube and Vimeo. I publish programs on GitHub. I consume a lot of YouTube. I use Reddit occasionally and comment on posts. My mum has Instagram and uses it regularly for entertainment. My mum uses WhatsApp. She consumes less social media than me and she watches TV regularly. Overall, I use 7 hours and 46 minutes of media in a week. And my mum used 5 hours and 25 minutes of media in the same week. That means I used about two more hours of media in the week than my mum. Over 80% of my media usage is for entertainment, and most of that is spent on YouTube. Other than that, I occasionally browse random things on the internet. For the 17% of my media usage that is communicative, most of it is spent on Discord. My mum's media usage is almost the complete opposite of mine. Almost most of her media time is spent chatting with her friends. Less than 40% of her time is spent using media for entertainment. Other, another interesting thing is that her usage is significantly more balanced than mine, being a 61% communicative to 39% entertainment split compared to my 17 to 83% split. Most of the week we have similar media usage. Sometimes I use more, sometimes her. But on Sunday, I used a remarkably high amount of media, 2 hours and 15 minutes to be specific. This could be due to me relaxing on Sunday after having done my work. Also on Thursday, I spent only 15 minutes, which may be because I was busy with a lot of things and I didn't have time to use social media. In conclusion, 
My data shows that I spend more time in the week using media than my mum. She used a total of 5 hours and 25 minutes, and I used 7 hours and 21 minutes. That said, it was not by as great a margin as I had expected, and I was surprised by how much time my mum spends on social media. Me and my mum are both active media users. We both post online, and we both pay attention to the sentiments behind content most of the time. That said, my mum is more passive towards Instagram, her source of entertainment on social media, but overall, I am pleasantly surprised about my mum's active relationship with the media she uses. We only track online media usage and logs, so the type of marketing we were exposed to will be almost entirely UGT based. Although in videos and films that I watch, there are often paid product adverts and integrations that are HNT based because they are shown to all viewers of that content. My prediction about the social media platforms that we would use was mostly accurate, accurate for entertainment. My mum uses Instagram and I use YouTube. I was surprised about the variety of platforms my mum used to communicate with friends and family. My prediction about the social media platforms that we would use was mostly accurate for entertainment. My mum uses Instagram and I use YouTube. But I was surprised about the variety of platforms my mum uses to communicate with friends and family. She uses WhatsApp, Discord and Facebook Messenger to contact a large variety of people because her, friend, because her friends use different software whereas all my friends are on Discord. My mum's job as a cardiovascular nurse specialist may impact her interests which directly impact her media consumption. She used to follow a group on Facebook that shared dark nursing memes. Uh, so it certainly impacted the content she consumed in the past, although I'm not certain of how an much of an impact it has currently. I use YouTube, Vimeo, GitHub, and Twitch and more to share content publicly to express myself and help people on the internet. This aspect of social media is something that my mum doesn't personally do and may and she may find it difficult if she tried doing it. Thank you for watching that video guys. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that was, uh, that, that, that's all the content for today. If you would subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, this, and this guy over here would be very happy as well. So, yeah, S subscribe. It's a good idea. It makes your day more healthy. Turn on notifications, because, um, because, you know, through this whole study, I found out that's the one thing people forget to do, you know? Turn on notifications on my YouTube channel, so make sure you do that. Bye!